In this video, I'm going to make a C program that's going to print out the first repeating character in a string. So first we'll make a string. We'll say car s is equal to a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i, j, k, l, m, n, o, p, and then j, k, l, m, n, o, p. And so in this string here, every character from a until i is unique. It has no repeat in the string. j is the first character in the string that has a repeat. We'd say it's the first repeating character in the string. So we're going to make a function that's going to find and print out this first repeating character in a string. So we'll say here void print first repeat, and the function is going to accept a string as an argument. We're also going to include the string.h library because it has a string length function, which is going to help us write this function. And we'll include stdbool.h because it allows us to make a bool type variable that can help us when we write this function as well. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And the way that we're going to solve this problem is we're going to have an outer loop that's going to look at this string one character at a time from zero until the length of the string. And then we're going to have an inner loop that's also going to look at this string one character at a time. And we're going to try to find the first character that has a repeat. So the first character in that outer loop that we have a match for using the inner loop. So here we're going to say int length is equal to strlens. We're first going to get the length of s so we know how long to run our loops for in terms of the indexes that we're using and then we'll make a bool here we'll say bool found repeat and we'll start it off as false because we're also going to keep track of whether we find a repeat at all if there is no repeating character in the string we're going to report that to the user instead so now we'll make the loops we'll say here for int i is equal to zero i is less than length i plus plus and then the inner loop for int j is equal to zero, j is less than length, j plus plus. If we find a character with the i index that is equal to the character with the j index, and the indexes are not the same, then we've found a repeat. So we're gonna say that at this point we've found a repeat. We'll say found repeat is equal to true. And what's going on with this comparison here is we're basically trying to find if there's a match. So this is just seeing if there's a matching character. And this here is comparing the indexes to make sure that we're not comparing the same character when we find the match. Because basically both loops are going through each character in this string here. But say in the case of J, we want to say that J is a match with this other J so long as the indexes are different, so long as the comparison is being done at different positions. If the comparison is being done at the same index, at the same position, then we're just sort of matching this J with itself which isn't really a repeat, right? That's just sort of the same character matching itself. So if found repeat is true, then we're done. So we're going to say here, if found repeat is true, we're going to print out that character. We'll say printf, print out that character. We'll print out si, and then we'll break because we're done. Now, if we get through this entire loop here and we never find a repeat, if found repeat is still false. If that's the case, then we're gonna print out that we couldn't find a repeating character. So we'll say here, if not found repeat, if we never found a repeating character, we'll say printf no repeating character found. So we'll say no repeating character found. And we'll give this function a test now. So we'll say here, print first repeat, and we'll pass it s as an argument. And let's just test it out here with this string we've got. So we'll do a compilation here, and then we'll run it, and we get that j is the first repeating character. If there's no repeating character, so if we get rid of, say, all this stuff here, and there's no longer any repeating characters, then we should get that warning message there, that there is no repeating character found. And we get no repeating character found. And so we've written a program that can find the first repeating character in a string in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.